I'm here with Patrick Cummins, who's a manager with Global Solutions Development with Verizon Enterprise Solutions. Patrick, welcome to the WTDC. Thank you for having me. The technicalities of successfully executing the global deployment of e-health initiatives is a key challenge and one that Verizon is actively tackling. But what is Verizon, a telecoms company, doing in the area of e-health? Verizon, very well known years ago for being a telecommunications and telephone provider, is rapidly moving towards becoming a uh, solution provider, leveraging all those assets like data centers, security and identity services, cloud uh, hosting, machine-to-machine. Uh, -machine. This is really all the components coming together that we can leverage as a new solution for healthcare. On top, we've already launched a number of uh, healthcare applications in the past and there is many lessons that we have learned and uh, that we would like to share with uh, ITU members. Uh, but at the same time also learn around key criteria, acceptation criteria, things that are currently blocking maybe the mass adoption of such applications globally. So what are the most important lessons you have learned around mobile health solutions? What we've learned is, uh, especially from a service that we launched already a couple of years ago, it is called Universal Identity Services. And Universal Identity Services is a next generation cloud service that provides two-factor authentication, strong authentication, also for the healthcare sector. And while we have seen that there is great adoption in the professional world for such two-factor authentication, we still see that it is lagging in consumer world and for healthcare. I can imagine patients uh, as well. So uh, the key element there was uh, usability, ease of use. So people who uh, have to go through a registration, every click is one click too many. It has to be convenient. And that's why we've also spent quite a lot of efforts on making this service really as convenient and seamless as possible. So I think this is a key takeaway to make usability um, a key success uh, factor. It's a, really a performance indicator you have to work on. You mentioned security and of course this is particularly important in the whole area of e-health with the issue of patient confidentiality and other related issues. So what can you tell us about uh, security solutions in e-health and the cloud today? Security has been a major blocking factor in using IT to exchange information, to exchange healthcare information. And uh, that's why Verizon has invested a lot in building a uh, reusable component called the Medical Data Exchange, which uh, provides uh, certainty uh, with regards to security. It uses uh, cryptography and it is uh, completely certified, uh, for example, HIPAA certified. So this is a reusable component that we can use in all of the uh, applications to come. So Patrick, a final word of advice to help us really tackle this big challenge of global rollout of mHealth and eHealth solutions. I think one of the key factors, the key lessons that we have learned in developing those healthcare applications is one that applies to your question. It is the fact that uh, a platform approach really helped us to gain this speed and agility and uh, deliver quality applications and robustness. Uh, so my advice would be really to focus on developing uh, a, a platform approach using standards and uh, agreeing on uh, those standards between uh, the, the members. And also, uh, the result would be that applications are developed for countries, have the potential to be used uh, cross-border as well, and not just in one specific country or one specific small area. Patrick Cummins, Verizon Enterprise Solutions, thank you very much for joining us here in Dubai. Thank you for having me.